Hello, this is Professor Stephen Escheba, and I'm um, going to help you out with uh, doing calculations in Spartan to calculate the um, to to construct a molecular orbital diagram for the hydrogen molecule. So this is the figure that we're we're going to try to reproduce um, quantitatively, and uh, what it's going to involve is calculating the uh, the energy of a 1s orbital uh, for a single hydrogen atom. And, uh, and that's just the orbital energy. And then we're going to have another orbital energy for the uh, this uh, constructive interference um, uh, orbital, that molecular orbital that resulted from the constructive interference of those two atomic orbitals. And we're also going to want this one up here, which is obviously the result of the destructive interference between uh, two out-of-phase 1s orbitals. So, so that's that energy. So the three energies we want is this one right here, okay, and then uh, this one here, and then this one here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the hydrogen atom. I've already calculated these guys uh, uh, previously, and uh, so now all I really need to do is go to this thing called the orbital energies, and I'm looking at this thing on the left. Uh, there are Two um, orbital energies that are two orbits that is going to be shown. I like to look at mesh view. Here is a 1s orbital, and up here that's a 2s orbital. And uh, but all we really care about for this this uh, this exercise is the 1s orbital. That's what we want, and to find the energy, it's minus 8.4. So that's the energy that's going to go right here, uh, not zero, but minus 8.4. Or because that's the energy of a single, um, a single uh, hydrogen 1s uh, orbital. How about for the H2? Well, I've already done this one too, so I'm just going to go to the results. Uh, once again, we've got a couple of orbitals that we can look at. And uh, so here is one that's obviously the result of constructive interference between two 1s orbitals on separated hydrogen atoms. Here's the, uh, the one that resulted from destructive uh, interference between those two. Uh, we're going to want both of these, so let's go back to this one. I can see that the energy is a minus 11.5, so that's the number down here. On, that's where we would want to position that height, minus 11.5, and now we get up to this one, that uh, one that resulted from destructive interference. That's plus. 2.7, so that's going to be the energy at that level up there. Now, when you're drawing this, uh, uh, we'll, we'll want that drawn properly to scale, so perhaps every tick mark in, uh, in your notebook could correspond to 1 EV, for example, and then you'll have it all properly to scale. 